Jones. Um, we are pleased today to award another permit to Timeless Herbal Care Limited. Uh, it is significant because uh, it is only the third one to be approved because the government is taking this responsibility quite seriously. It was a laborious process, but we are, we are thankful that Timeless and its um, CEO, um, Mr. Cornamenti, did show the patience and did work with us to ensure that they um, were able to fulfill all the requirements. It is our aim that Jamaica becomes a center of excellence for the production, growth, utilization of marijuana for medicinal purposes. It's a brief statement to um, commend Timeless and to urge that we move speedily ahead towards um, achieving tremendous results. Congratulations, and uh, we are looking forward to frequent updates. So I'm gonna hand over to you now, symbolically, the license, the permit, and then I'm sure you want to say a few words. Minister Paul, let me begin by really thanking you for your tremendous leadership um, at every stage of the game. Uh, as I reflected on April 20th, um, when you attended at the University of the West Indies, and you provided um, Professor Archibald McDonald with the first research license in a bold manner to say, let's get things going. Timeless is very pleased that you have had the trust and the faith in us to give us the first private company to receive a research and development permit to begin the process. Professor Earl Morrison, thank you for your guidance throughout the years and your leadership um, in the industry, in the nutraceutical industry. Um, the foundation that you have laid is going to allow Timeless and other companies to come into Jamaica and really help to build a much stronger industry, not just on the nutraceutical side, but also on the pharmaceutical side. Uh, for Timeless, we take our research and development very seriously. Um, we now have brought on board Mr. Hawthorne Watson, um, who played a key role at the Scientific Research Council to head up our operations in Jamaica with a tremendous focus on research and development. We've also been very blessed um, with an amazing team of individuals, including my children, the Clarks, and we've built a family. We really have, a, as you've seen, that Timeless really is about a family of individuals, a caring family of individuals with a goal of building communities. We are identifying individuals and communities in Jamaica, and we're making them our focus. Um, Minister, we talked about essential oils. It's very interesting. One of the products which Timeless will be bringing to market in about a week or so, and I'll be giving you a bottle today, we discovered a gentleman has been doing this for over 20 years, creating an, an essential oil, utilizing as a massage oil. After taking it through the process of the University of West Indies and having Dr. Williams go through all the tests, we discovered that this product has tremendous anti-inflammatory and actually does relieve pain. So, uh, I can't drink it though. This is not a drink, this is a coffee. Also, doubles as a massage oil as well. Okay. With, uh, with a lubricant. And we're making these kind of discoveries across Jamaica. Working with Dr. Lawrence Williams, it's very interesting. Uh, within the last couple of days, we've discovered tremendous advances being made in China on the Guinea hen weed. So, we, you know, Jamaica already has a tremendous foundation um, that has been laid over the years, and we're just glad to have the opportunity to play a role in developing the industry, making sure that we meet the proper standards, property control, um, carrying out clinical trials. We see that as really essential part of being able to say to the rest of the world, Jamaica has done these tests, We've met these standards, whether it be FDA standards or Health Canada or European Union standards, we're ready for the world. And so I really, again, want to re-emphasize and just thank you for your tremendous leadership. Um, this is an industry and sometimes you're not able to 
you know, put the commas and the, and the periods in the right places. Sometimes you literally have to move ahead in order to be able to capture the opportunities for Jamaica. And uh, I am confident that the path that we're on and under the leadership team that's in place right now, that we will achieve that billion dollar mark for Jamaica. And this will be an industry not just on the nutraceutical and the pharmaceutical, but on manufacturing, on tourism and processing, and all of these other areas that are going to be impacted um, by this new industry that you've opened up. So again, thank you. And also want to give just special recognition to Mr. Mark Golding, who did present us with the legal opportunity, creating the framework so that we're now able to proceed for you to be able to provide us with this permit and looking forward to the opportunity as we really open up the market because Jamaica has the ability to compete on the international marketplace and for timeless the government or commercial partner the University of the West Indies we are the commercial partner with the University of the West Indies but uh, we're more than prepared building a fantastic team and working along with you in all areas of support that we're able to get. I want to thank you again Minister. I just want to thank Minister for offering this opportunity to the private sector to get involved. And this immediate step, in fact, uh, I'm not always taken by surprise, but to, to, to hear that you've developed this in such a short time, and which no doubt incorporates uh, a cross-section of plans. We understand you're working with the SRC and the UA scientists. And this is a kind of, of commercialization that Minister has been yearning to hear and to see happen. And with the marijuana, in particular, the other related nutraceuticals, which has been mandated to the NCSD, that minister has put me here to undertake. Uh, let me see a few more of these. <laughs> <laughs> they will be delivered to you. Know, but this is, this is wonderful. This yeah. is the kind of new thrust that we want to see in the country. And as I say over and over, I hope I won't be pilloried, but sugar bananas have seen their heyday and um, we feel that the nutraceuticals are the new and upcoming trust and worldwide you see it's one of the most rapidly developing industries and Jamaica must find its niche in that era and catch its marketplace and the kind of medicinal and stock that we have here <laughs> I think you're under a good thing remember me <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for the opportunity.